How's it going guys? This is Scott with a little e-bike video. I uh, just finally got my shipment of laptop batteries in the mail. Uh, I ordered 12 Dell laptop batteries. They're 12 cell 18650 lithium ion. And uh, as you can see there's a bunch of the brand new cells, I mean packs, with the 12 cells in them down here. And what I'm doing is I'm disassembling them all and I'm building an e-bike battery out of them. Here's a couple of the parts for when you take them apart. I've been uh, basically just ripping all the cells out. You can see 12 of them lay down in there and there's the battery management and the charging system and where it would plug into the laptop. And here's six of the cells that you would uh, see in there and I got them all broken down so far I've taken apart two of the packs and I'm breaking them into three cell clusters those are parallel three cell strips and that's probably how I'm gonna be building the battery pack with that same configuration so I don't have to break the tab welds uh, disassembling them is quite a pain uh, just trying to get into this pack alone without dam damaging the cells is pretty tough but I think I've got it down to a science now just with a pair of uh, dikes and that's all I'm using nothing else and a highlighter actually I, uh, I find a non-conductive little bar is always helpful to have because you don't want to stick a screwdriver in there and pry with metal I use a uh, some sort of a plastic or you know a pencil or a pen anything so I can jam it underneath the cells and kind of pry them up and get them apart so what I'm going to do here is, well, what my hopes are, is to uh, completely disassemble all of these batteries. And I'm going to build a 72 volt battery pack. I'm actually going to end up building it into two 36 volt packs. So I can charge it at 36 volts and then put them in series and power them on the bike. So with the amount of cells I have here, because they're 1.8 amp hour cells, they have a little higher density than normal cells. They're, uh, I think they're Sony 18650 GRs. It's a little older of a stock. Hoping they still have a good life. We'll have to find out. I ran them on this little fan over here. It's uh, just an 80 millimeter 12 volt fan out of a computer power supply. I use it sometimes to cool things down on laptops and it's also good for checking voltage real quick on the packs. They're a little, they're hurting on voltage that's for sure. So I gotta charge them up real nice and balance them before I build the batteries. But with the amount of cells I have I'm gonna have 144 or something I think. Uh, I'm gonna be able to build a 10 amp hour pack at 72 volts so that's if the cells test out at their rated specified ampacity. We'll have to find out. But uh, this is just the first video because it's getting late at night here. I'm going to have to pack this up, work on it tomorrow. I'm going to put a couple together. So let's see what we get over the next couple of days and start building. This is Scott, e-bike, signing out. Okay, so it's another night tonight and I opened up about three or four more packs. I still got seven of them to open up, but as you can see I got 60 cells out here which is uh, in a configuration right now to build a 36 volt 10.8 amp hour pack so I'm probably gonna build two of those that size and I'm gonna be able to wire them in series and parallel so I can charge it at 36 and run it on the bike at 72 so I got a lot more work ahead of me pulling these things apart uh, they're pretty tedious I get through about three of them and I don't even want to do another one but if I get motivated enough, I'll uh, get them all going and pull them all apart and see what we can do. I did bring my meter home though, so I could test some of the voltages, and it seems like they're all holding around 3 volts, which is a little low, but I should be able to recover them all and get them operating properly. So, only time will tell. A couple more days, and I should have it all torn apart, have it all ready to go, start soldering up. But, this is just a little update. This is Scott signing out. 
Well, it's Saturday morning, so I have some time to get some work done on these batteries. As you can see, I still have seven more to tear apart, so I'm going to get started on those. See if I can get them all taken apart today. You can see they are just regular Dell batteries, BAT-30IL, 14.8 volt, 5400 milliamp hours, straight from Dell. They're all shipped nice in a lot box. got them fairly cheap on the internet a lot cheaper than you would think you'd get a laptop battery for so let's hope we can recover these cells really uh, interested in finding out if they're going to be worthwhile I mean I'm going to be end, end up putting like 30 hours of work into these by the time I'm done with it so hopefully it pays off all we can do is uh, hope for the best this is Scott signing out here's a little snapshot of the first one opened up today uh, as you can see they got all their little BMS wires for their balance charging and there's the two phase wires the black and the red they also have a little temperature sensor that goes out on top of one of the cells it's usually taped right there but this one didn't seem to be taped it seems like they taped it to the top of the case somebody must have built this pack a little different than the other few but there's the configuration of all the cells it's a uh, Four in series and three in parallel. These little uh, BMS wires are so tiny the way I'm pulling the cells out because they're glued in and they're a pain to get out. Uh, they're all just breaking right off of the the BMS board which makes it easier for me because uh, I don't have to deal with them now. Alright and there you have it. I got 120 cells pulled out of the packs. That there is enough to make two 36 volt 10.8 amp hour packs. And when you put them in series, it would be a 72 volt 10.8 amp hour pack. And as you can see, I still have two more laptop batteries over there. So there's uh, 24 more cells. I'm going to bust those out. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using them in the packs. Might keep them for safeties. But uh, this is all I can fit in my bicycle frame and I'm still not sure if I can fit them in this configuration what I might have to do is make a really long pack which would make uh, instead of making them six in a row for the series strips I'd make them three in a row and make it twice as long this way so that might have to get done to one of the packs to fit it into my full suspension Moda Beacon frame so my bike is at work so I can't check that out it also has my 48 volt 10 amp hour V power life post still in there as a I don't know if you're following my videos but in e-bike number two I mounted that into my frame of the motor beacon so I'm going to be removing that I'm going to be installing my 72 volt controller along with this battery pack so hopefully we can get it all going I'll give you some more updates when I get them alright Scott sign out